how to make this video, if I even wanted to make this video, because the amount of people asking, first of all, is the queen even in here? And second of all, the more morbid question of how are they keeping her body, you know, fresh during this 11 days of mourning. So I thought I would answer those questions, hopefully give you some clarity on what's the deal here. So first of all, Queen Elizabeth is indeed inside this coffin. No, I don't know what she's wearing. I've heard she was buried with her wedding band, not her engagement ring, and a pair of pearl earrings, but I don't know anything beyond that. I don't think anybody does, nor will we, unless they choose to release that information. Why would they put her in the coffin only to cart her around the country for 11 days? They're not gonna open this again. D they're, do they're done. We're done looking at her. The family already had their time to pay their respects privately. That's why they were all jetted up to Balmoral. It wasn't to say goodbye to her while she was alive. It was to say goodbye to her after she had passed. Once she left Balmoral, this did not get cracked open again. So I, I don't want this to sound flippant, but it doesn't really matter what state her body's in at this point. I do believe that she was embalmed. The other part of this is the coffin itself. Monarch's coffins are lined with lead. This weighs over 500 pounds because of that. Something that I think makes the pallbearer's facial expressions much more understandable. The coffin being lined with lead is a way to slow decomposition to keep the monarch's body intact longer. It's something about preventing moisture from getting into the coffin itself. Go watch, I think Susie has videos on this, Susie Edge, I will tag her uh, in the description. Finally, let's talk about where they are going to put the queen's coffin after the funeral on Monday. This is the royal vault. This is where her coffin will be lowered at the ceremony at St. George's Chapel. This is a room underneath the chapel where most of the royal family is interred in their caskets. It was constructed under King George III, and it's the traditional place for members of the royal family to be put after their funeral ceremonies are over. I believe right now there are 25 royals here. Prince Philip is currently located in this vault. It's not a big refrigerator, he's not just hanging out, they're not going to open his coffin again, but he is going to be moved out of this vault because he and Elizabeth are actually going to be interred here at the George VI Memorial Chapel. This is still inside St. George's Chapel, but this is where the Queen's immediate family, her father, mother, and sister are all buried. Well, Princess Margaret's ashes are there. So I hope that answers some questions and gives you some perspective on what the burial itself is like. Okay, so it's taken me a